Hey guys, it's Allie, and in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing a package from American Girl as well as from Etsy. So the reason this intro is done in voiceover is because I did the whole intro thinking that the first package was something that it was not, so it made no sense. So this ended up being the package I ordered from the berry bag sale that American Girl had a few weeks ago, and I got some holiday items because of the really good deals. So now let's get into the video. Oh, it's my actual package from American Girl. That whole intro was nothing. Anyways, it's May and we have holiday items because of the berry bag sale. So I got the holiday dress from this past year for $14, which is great because I already own the boys holiday outfit. And I also got the holiday PJs from two years ago for $8. Even with shipping to Canada, this sale was so worth it. So I'm going to open up the dress first. This is like a dance costume, greeting you with sequins right off the bat. The ring is so tiny. I've never owned an AG ring. I knew they were tiny, but wow. So here is the dress. It is red and there are gold and silver as well as red sequins on the top part with a silver belt and it is a tulle skirt with some red lining. And on the back, the belt continues, which I'm very happy about, and there's Velcro right here. Sorry about the white on white here, but here is the fur wrap. It is so soft, guys. There's a little jewel right here, and right above the jewel is where you can open it up, just with the square and then wrap it on your doll. Here are the shoes. They are flats with a top, no side, and then the back, and they're not the rough sparkles, they're the kind of sparkles where it's a smooth surface. If you have a bunch of AG shoes, you probably know what I mean by that. And there's a silver bow on each of them to match the one on the dress. Here is the silver headband. It is the type of sparkles which are rough to the touch, and there's three gems on the side. Finally, we have the itty bitty little ring. It's got a little gem similar to the one on the headband, and guys, Look how tiny this is. It's so tiny and I can't wait to put it on a doll. So here is the dress modeled on my Joss doll, Marlo, and it's really cute. I think one thing about this dress that's a little bit deceptive is on the stock photo, you can't really notice the gold sparkles, but I feel like because now there's a warmer tone to it with the gold, it just changes the overall way the dress looks in my personal opinion. Another thing is the neckline, on mine at least, doesn't look fully round. It looks more like a v-neck. But other than that, it comes with- oh, I forgot her headband. A lot of the AG holiday outfits come with an extra accessory, but this one comes with a shawl, a ring, and a headband, so I'm very impressed. Of course, the regular price was $36 US, I believe and everyone was freaking out over the boy doll outfit, which I do have, but I'm very happy that I own the pair, and for $14 US, this was also a big steal. So here is the second outfit, and it is the Holiday Dreams Pajamas for Dolls. So I'm going to start off with the top. It is a long sleeve, plain red shirt with a few graphic snowflakes, and this one's actually embroidered on. Here are the leggings. They are a flannel with red, white, green, and blue, as well as some snowflakes in there, and it's an elastic waist, so you can just slide it on your doll. Here are the two slippers. They are fleece with an embroidered star with an elastic so that they do not fall off of the doll's feet. And guys, look, they're like so plush and I love it. And unfortunately, there is the very long American Girl tag on one of them, which I will be cutting off. Finally, there are two burgundy scrunchy style elastics. So here is the outfit on my 62, Naya, and she looks really cute. My one criticism is because of how plush the slippers are. She can't really stand up on her own in them, so she's leaning up against the wall, and I'm praying she does not fall. It's really cute, and for $8 US, that is definitely a steal. So 
so it is a few hours later on the same day and my package that I had been waiting for since early April finally arrived and it is from the Petite Whale Co. So let's open it up. So Angie's packaging is as cute as always. So it's in a clear plastic bag with her business card and some really pretty tape holding it in place. Here is the first item and it is a pair of light blue distressed jeans. I love her jeans so much. I have a pair that is also distressed. It's slightly cropped at the ankle and it's my favorite pair of doll jeans. So I'm very happy I own another pair from her. There's pockets, white stitching detail. Here's the second item I got from her and it is this oversized sweater cardigan. So it's so soft. It's this pink knit material. It's a raw hem at the bottom, but the sleeves are hemmed. They are fake buttons, but there's Velcro in the back. And I'm so happy this will look so cute with a bralette underneath and the jeans. So here is the outfit on my doll, Kiona paired with a bralette from the Petite Whale Co. from a few years back. It's so cute. The jeans weren't too hard to get on, but like any distressed jeans, you've gotta make sure that you do not get the foot caught in the rip. The sweater is so cute and oversized, and I still, once again, cannot get over how soft it is. Finally, the item that I custom ordered from her. I've seen a few shops put out similar skirts in a similar pattern, but I've owned one just like this from Brandy Melville for a few months now. And since it's a really trendy style, I thought it would be cute to get a doll sized version so I can twin with my dolls. So it is just this plaid material and it has two slits in the front. It's the exact same as mine, except for the colors of the plaid are slightly different. It looks a bit more black on camera, but it's actually a navy blue in real life and my skirt is a black, but for photo purposes, and twinning purposes, it will do the job. It's so well made, the stitching is amazing, and I'm so happy I have this piece. So here is the skirt on my doll, Allie, and I put her in this exact outfit because it matches the exact outfit I'm currently wearing since I got the same top from AG Jitters. I will have this shop linked in the description down below so you guys can go buy her stuff. She is amazing. She's one of my closest friends who owns an Etsy shop and I've never been disappointed from her. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys have picked up anything from the berry bag sale or have bought anything on Etsy recently and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Bye!